so in this course we talked about various things about distribution columns we talked about uh, the purpose the types then we looked into the associated items which are there with the distribution column and we tried to understand the functioning of different types of trays and in the end we talked about a summary or you can say the overview how distillation column operates so this is this is how we talked about various sections of distillation column and we talked about the functioning of distillation column so thank you very much see you in the next part